Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Hat Tech Cards, bringing you another exciting opening. We're stepping back out onto the baseball diamond for a little bit of more of Top Heritage 2024. We're going to continue to basically do a deep dive into the retail products. As you see in front of you, we're going to be opening some hangers today, which according to most people are the worst. Let's see what we can find in them. But before we do that, do a quick recap of the last video, because I want to essentially compare all the different products, right? So we did open five value packs, 20 cards per, and they retail for about $7, depending on where you find them. Two white borders, which are very nice. You get the right player, like a, I saw a Volpe go for, you know, 30 bucks recently, not bad. And just a single short print, which I thought was kind of crazy for five of the value packs so we're gonna go ahead and keep those just off to the side so that we have a little bit of a running total as to which product is best but without further ado let's go ahead and get ripping and let's see what we can get out of these sorry for the annoying sound unfortunately these are wrapped in that heavy shrink wrap that tends to have a very annoying sound, but as I've said before, I prefer to do everything on camera to keep down on any funny business. But, all right, last one. So three of these guys, they retail for about $13 I got these for at Target. Uh, still readily available if you want any of these products. They likely printed a ton, as usual. But let's rip right into these. I don't think there's really anything too uh, exclusive or anything like that. Retail exclusive and limited tops in 3D, which look really awesome. Look for the Sensations foil board, the Zoo's Who. As we said last time, we're going to be looking for... The Crime Dog, because I'm a huge fan of Basset Hounds. And hopefully no Diamondbacks, because I'm incredibly terrified of snakes. <laughs> With that said, we're going to go ahead and take all three of these out of here. And then just keep a one of the boxes as a background, so that we have an idea of what it is we're opening. And then as we get more and more, we'll probably, you know, move them off camera or something like that and revisit things once we hit the last product. We have blasters and a mega box upcoming in order to complete our comparisons. Not a bad way to start here with Julio Rodriguez. Also in the retail packs, did not end up getting any... Uh, what do you call it? Autographs or relics? See if that changes in any of these videos. But there is J-Rod, Jordan Alvarez, Daniel Palencia. And before we file these, we're going to go ahead and kind of keep them on the outside to see what is short printed, since that's going to be one of the things that we use to keep track of what product is better than which other product. Charlie Blackman, just love the 1975 design on these. They are gorgeous. And of course, for anybody who hasn't seen these before, we're gonna kind of take our time because what's more fun than ripping into products, you know, ripping into some of the uh, new stuff, or I guess at this point, it's not too new. But it's just fun to open baseball cards. It's one of those very few things in the world that I feel like are just so much fun. And can really take your mind off of a lot of the stuff going on in your in your world and elsewhere. Shohei Otani and his Dodgers Uni. First one of those. We got Ben Attendee upside down. I mean, he's like a short print. Nope. Just a little bit of a strange collation there. Then we have Bassa Bay, possibly. I'm not so sure on that one. Clark Schmidt, Bryce Miller, Tyler Rogers, Corey Lee, Stratton, 
And of course, by the time we finish this, I'm hoping everyone will have New Age Performers, Juan Soto. The only insert, I believe. Uh, hopefully everybody will have a better idea of what exactly the best bang for your buck is when it comes to Topps Heritage. Let's do a quick through here, see if we have any short prints. Short prints were pretty stingy in the hanger packs from what I recall. There's one in previous videos and forums. So we have one to start things out. And a couple rookies here. Let's see. Don't believe there's a ton of short printed rookies. So there we go. We'll go ahead and file those. Just a single short print. And it is Mauricio Dubon. Hanger pack number two. My aim is to keep all of these videos relatively short. That way, if you want to go through and watch them all at once, you certainly can in order to get an idea of what exactly the best product is. There we go. We have Ryan Howard. And can't quite read that. Justin Morneau, that's right. He was the 2006 Most Valuable Players. Tyler Wells for my O's. Julio Pablo Martinez. Nolan Jones. Uh, just nice, nice stuff. Hoping to pull something pretty fun from these products, but again, you just never know. Henry Davis is a nice rookie. You know, the white borders are pretty darn good. Colton Kowser, I believe he just got Rookie of the Month. So good for him, good for my O's, who took quite a few games from the Yankees. Three out of four, I believe it was. So pretty excellent start. Obviously, once again, still early in to the season, so it's kind of hard to take a read of anything that's, you know, happening at the moment. But it is, I think the good teams are starting to separate from the, at least from the bad teams, and then the average teams are still kind of fighting with each other. Leading firemen, that's interesting. Tampa Bay Rays, we got ourselves a black border insert. Ooh, another white border. There we go. So we can put the inserts away. White border, Gabriel Arias. And the YAH, I guess, 64 Apache helicopter. First flight. News flashbacks. So there you go. You can see a white border. And it's a short print. So a white bordered short print. Very nice. Let's take a quick breeze through these. Make sure no other short prints. And we will move on. So far, one short print per. Let's see if that changes. We have any here. Nice quick fly through. Don't want to waste too much of your valuable time. And once again, just one short print. However, it happens to be a white border this time. And lastly, we move on to, okay, well, <laughs> the third and final hanger. I don't think they've been too bad so far. I mean, obviously, I think a lot of people tend to look for, you know, a higher percentage of short prints as well as a, you know, some of the better rookies, which we haven't really hit any just yet. And even relic or autograph, but perhaps this is not the product to do that. Sal Freilich bunch of the MVP cards. Uh, I like those a lot. Wade Meckler, another rookie. Ezekiel Tovar. There's Torque. Really seems like he's starting to put things together for the Tigers, as well as this guy here, Riley Green, who didn't really have to figure out too much. He appears to be a, an absolute stud. Bobby Witt Jr. Talk about studs. Guy is incredible. And the Royals fan base is, I'm sure, extremely happy to have him for a long time. Junior Caminero. It's a nice rookie there. Followed by Slade Sicconi, possibly. Not sure how to say that one. And Guidry's MLB debut. That's nice baseball flashbacks. So no white border or anything like that. Let's see if we have any short prints. None of the rookies. And... These guys here, 200s, 4, 
two, two. Not looking great. And 24. There you go. So just, just two short prints and a single white border, obviously, like we said, being one of those short prints, Gabriel Arias. And doesn't produce anything else. No, no relics, no autos, anything of that nature. Doesn't seem to be a terrible product, though. I feel like, I mean, maybe you should expect a short print per, which we didn't quite hit here. Um, and wouldn't blame you because these are priced for, what I say, about $13. I think $14 if you're at Walmart. Um, but let's go ahead and see what else happens with the next couple of videos. So be sure to head down below, hit the little subscribe button, click the like while you're there. We put out videos every Monday and Friday. And, you know, come along for the ride, as well as one final thing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for everything, for watching the videos. You don't know what it means to me. It's 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 truly incredible, and it's just an awesome, awesome hobby with some tremendous, tremendous hobbyists that I thoroughly enjoy talking to and, and you know, meeting in the real world. So we will sign off with that. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.